Good afternoon, friends. Uh, my name is uh, Tina, and I'm from the Garden in Plains. And today is my work. Um, it's a beautiful weather here in Southern California, and I thought I'll work on in my yard. And um, so today I have picked up the top in sago palm because I have two uh, beautiful sago palms in my front yard, and I'm planning to do a little maintenance today. Um, so late uh, sago palms are um, uh, originally came, uh, they are prehistoric. Um, they are um, uh, existed dinosaur time, um, uh, ceratops and uh, sagotaurus with uh, triceratops and sagosaurus were very uh, stegosaurus used to use them to eat. Um, so they have, but they survived so many more than 200 million years uh, back they used to be there in, uh, and but today we have few species left of the cycad family uh, their scientific name is um, cycads revoluta uh, they are known uh, recognized as sago palm king palm um, cycad acid palm palms and uh, uh, similar to that so um, so let's look at uh, their growing habits. They look like palm, but they are not um, palms. They are um, they are in fact grown from their seeds, um, and um, so they are cycad family. Uh, they look like palm, and their growth is very slow. Um, my palms are uh, only 20 years old, and um, uh, so. Uh, they have that's all they grew in last 20 years or so uh, so they are cute they stay small um, small dwarf size and they are uh, you know in, but they need to be maintained so today i will be talking about uh, how to maintain those and um, uh, how to take care of them so let's begin Okay, so today's uh, maintenance, um, I'm using, uh, I'm going to cut down on these leaves because they need to have some airflow circulation uh, so they can uh, get better um, air circulation. Um, and also I'm going to um, add some uh, garden soil and also uh, some uh, steer manure at the bottom of there. I'm going to remove some uh, some of the pups. These are the pups um, and they have to be removed. Um, so we will remove those and then clean up a little bit of the stem uh, on their trunks. And um, also I'm going to add some blood meal to them and also a organic um, um, all-purpose for fertilizer plantain uh, so the blood meal is uh, 1200 that is 12 nitrogen zero phosphorus and zero potassium and um, nitrogen helps the growth of the leaves and um, uh, so that will uh, help them and also the all-purpose plant uh, uh, all-purpose plant fertilizer will help them the overall to maintain to grow their flowers and um, that nature so that is what the goal is today to uh, use the all-purpose uh, fertilizer uh, so we will begin on the process so here we see what we can do to so um, we are going to cut down some of the leaves and um, cut few, few so they will have better air circulation and also I'm going to see if there are any brown leaves or so here is one and so if they don't get enough sunlight that's why they have if they have brown leaves or, or they um, um, dry leaves so we need to remove those so they will have enough circulation okay so after uh, removing the leaves I will thin out some and just keep only one or two layers of the leaves so 
all the air can circulate in between the, um, the other leaves and also I will be removing uh, this um, baby puff puff here, puff here and uh, after removing I will be adding the garden soil and also the steel mirror uh, then we will be adding some bone meal um, that is the bone mills are good for um, their growth because they have um, 12 zero zero uh, proportion so nitrogen will help them and um, other one will help their overall um, health and growing so we'll be adding that um, so uh, let me Uh, so to uh, to remove the pups, um, we'll be using the uh, the, the spats and um, cutters uh, to uh, remove those, and that way um, the mother for uh, mother for um, mother farm will be uh, free of any babies, and they can get all the nutrients for, for the, their um, own growth, and they will grow better. So that's the purpose of that. So. Uh, we will uh, keep you posted on how um, uh, they are growing um, uh, in the next session. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead with adding. Um. Okay, so um, we have removed uh, the baby pup, and there are two are uh, as a sample of pups are removed. Um, and uh, so the next next process will be adding the soil we'll be adding the soil at the base of the uh, plant Um, we'll be removing all other and I'm, I'm going to add some uh, here manure to that uh, then I'm going to add a little bit of blood meal the um, base of the plant and um, add some um, uh, all-purpose fertilizer to them and uh, then I'm going to go out there and water and then I will be adding the thorough water and leave it to that and we will keep you posted on how they are uh, doing um, another video thanks for watching have a blessed day thank you